Yo, what's up, boys? It is the start of a try hard Thursday. Oh, crap. Hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh. <clears throat> One second. No. Pay no attention. It's the start. Of... <laughs> grab, just grab the quarter. Pull, pull it out of frame. Nice. Perfect. Hey, what's up, guys? Try Hard Thursday. On a Thursday, of course. And uh, I'm playing Freya because it's a magical ADC. And they're, they're OP, obviously. I need them to fix my camera, but I don't know. This way. Uh, Vama Anna. Okay. All right, I'm down. I'm down to fight a Vama Anna. His name is Bravi. I just know that, um, I don't know anything, <laughs> but I saw that the SPL play-ins are right now. And that's super sick. And I really want to watch that because I know so many people that are playing for it. And it's really, really cool. If you don't know what the SPL play-in is, because I didn't know what it was. Um, basically it's 10 teams or maybe eight teams, but I think it's 10 that play against each other. And the top two teams, like the winner of the loser bracket the and the winner of the winner bracket get accepted into the SPL as teams, like, like real actual teams, which is so exciting, uh, because I know so many people on those teams. I'm like a proud parent, you know? I mean, unless they lose, then I'm really not a proud parent. But if they win, I'm a super proud parent. Oh, my attack speed. Ouch. Oop. Easy. Easy first blood. He popped the med at ran it and ran at me. And all I had to do was pop the med and run at him. I think he probably just didn't check my relic. He probably didn't know that I had med also. If I had to guess. That's okay. My chair is so fucking stupid. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You probably can't. You doing your blue? You did your blue. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I actually think as Freya, I am one of the few characters that just straight up does not give a fuck about Vamana alt. Like I just damage through it. And if it doesn't work, then I just walk away. All right. Look, you might be a big guy, but you are not, you're not I'm going to steal your blue kind of big. Get out of here, bro. You're not as big as you think you are. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's right. I got my blue. Now what? Now what? Do you want to fight me? Mono a mono. I'll punch you in the forehead. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of no baby. Should have altered. You should have ulted. You can't hold your ult if you're going to run like that. I guess his option was either cancel his run and ult or run and hope that you get out of the range. And he was really close to getting out of the range in his defense. So maybe that's what he was going for. All I know is that I got my full Bancrofts already. So no... No ghetto ass babies are gonna beat my ass. Probably. Yeah, honestly, you never know. So, <laughs> but, but maybe. Where you at? Where you at? He still doesn't have a full item, and I have a finished Bancrofts, so I am chilling pretty good. I will say, 
the auto attack slow on his three, I believe, is mad annoying. And the fact that I don't have too much attack speed in general. Because the auto attack speed slow from his three and the mannequins makes me auto attack so slow. And I have no built in attack speed yet. So. It is okay because my lifesteal is insane. And even with him having a runic shield, I don't feel like I'm being like beaten or outclassed or. I don't feel like I'm going to lose the fight. These aren't the wards you are looking for. All right, my buff is done. I want your buff too if that's okay with you. He's just kind of walking around. Now. Where are you going? Oh, he's a baby. Run. Okay, he's no longer a baby. See you later. You have no mana and no buffs. Alright, all I have to do is act like minions don't exist for a second. And when you only have, like, enough mana for one ability, like he did right there. Right, right there. When you only have enough mana for one ability like he just had, chances are, even if you, you know that you're completely safe, Chances are you're going to use that little bit of mana you have for one ability to use your movement ability to get out. So, yeah, I just W keyed him, which gave me enough room to do my blue, do the wave, and do this. And that will give me confirmation over every buff and XP camp in the game. And then I'll back and go into a Toxic Blade. Because it's going to give me the attack speed that I want. It's going to give me... Um, 60% anti-heal for the passive and just a little bit of pen a little bit and then next item I'm gonna go divine and again my attack speed isn't gonna be too great I mean I do have toxic blade now which is 30% which is a really nice attack speed item but it's not gonna be too great I will have 100% anti-heal and I'll have life steal in just three items Alright. Well, there's his ult. I think I will just chase him. I assume he's not going to let me kill him. Unfortunately, I was correct. I was hoping I was wrong there and he was going to just ram his face into my blade, but not exactly what happened. I'll do bull demon though. I don't mind. I don't mind a little bit of bull demon here. I will sacrifice the red buff for it, but all's fair. All's fair. And I am super not scared of anything he has to do to me, so... Nice, I got minions in here, which is all I needed. And you cannot win this fight. And as soon as I got the minions in here, I knew it was a guaranteed tower. Nice. So again, I sacrificed the red buff for it, but... Sacrificing red buff in order to get still two buffs and the bull demon and the tower. And I would make that trade 100% of the time. 
And yeah, I, I think I'll still go with the original plan of going divine next item. So I just have 100% anti-heal right out the gate. Seems really nice. I could just go attack speed or like um, something like demonic. Something that has attack speed and penetration on it. It, it would be enough for sure, but... I think 100% anti-heal might just be the play. I could also just go Telekines. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go with the play first. What I consider to be the best play, which is 100% anti-heal, is again. I mean, he's Vamana. He has an HP Chalice. He has Meditation, and he has his ultimate. So he has three different forms of healing, all of which are good forms of healing too. So. I like the uh I like the divine play. My attack speed suffers and my defense suffers, but my damage output is immaculate. Oh, he thinks he can win a fight. There we go. There's the 100% 100 anti-heal in action right there. Even the fact that he had thorns didn't even mean anything, even though I did 550 damage to myself with it. It didn't even mean much just because I was life stealing through it and he wasn't able to heal at all. Nice. Well played first game. I will see you guys in the second game. Hello! Welcome back. Game number... I'm not sure. It's only two. I know. I know. I, who am I trying to kid? I know exactly what game number I'm on. I'm gonna pop a Worshipper Boosty and play a little bit of Sork and Yormi. A Nike? I don't even remember the last time I fought a Nike. That's a that's an odd pick in Duel for sure. Oh, it's Bravi again. He's a good dude. I talked to him after the last game. It, it was the person from the first game, the Vamana. We chatted a little bit in the end game lobby. Uh, actually, up until this game. So <clears throat> He seems like a good dude. And he called me Bud, so I respect him. Huh? <laughs> Shut up. Shiv said Bud? Question mark? And then she looked at me and said, I love you, Bud. <laughs> Uh, that's 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 the kind of relationship we strive for over here. <laughs> I don't want to be called babe. I want to be called bud. <laughs> oh, look at how fast he is. Jeepers. That guy's Sanic. All right, you can have the blue. I don't I don't even want that. That Garbanzo. God, it takes me forever to do a buff. I mean, I guess, to be fair, I'm used to, uh... I'm used to the buffs that... I have, like, Mannequin Scepter or, like, Boombas or something. Dude, you cannot take this fight. I have, I have red buff. I have red buff and blue stone. My early game is so good. My early game is so good. He didn't even pop shell. And to be fair, I don't even think he should have because he was kind of uh, shit out of luck the second that the second that I caught my three on him on his back step. It was going to be hard for him. Let's go grab my blue. He is level four still. I'm just gonna slow clear this. I don't mind. I don't mind losing a little bit of gold to tower. Yeah. Hey, uh... All right. I only missed the melees. Oh, hello. Oh, you are so... Dusties! 
Dude. I think he's underestimating early game Sorka Yormi. I think everybody underestimates Sorka Yormi. I think that's why I think that's why he's one of my favorite guys to play right now. I I think he's so good straight up. But I also think he's even better because people underestimate his damage. Whether it be on the one or the alt or the two or whatever. They just underestimate it. Like look at that output, dude. I, I still don't even have one finished item. I have not one finished item. And I did 90% of this guy's HP before he could even react. Granted, he lived because jumps, but still. It feels so good to pick this god. These matchups needed to be reversed. Should I do a Nike versus Sukiyomi game next game? You want to do Nike versus Suk next game? I don't know if I could win, but it's a try hard Thursday. And if I want to try hard, I put myself at a disadvantage and, and I fucking try hard, you know, Vamana and the Suk and Nike into Freya. Vamana into Suk. I don't think Vamana beats Suk. Am I... I don't think Vamana beats Suk. He said it like he thinks he it, it does. I guess I could see it from the point of like you don't ever get stunned because you can just one through him. But also, what, what do you do with the alt? Dunks on him until late. I mean, I'm down to try. Like, I never, I never pick the same god more than once normally. I'm down to play the matchup next game. Because I would love to see... I would love to see the matchup. Vamana versus Suk, huh? I'm just trying to... I, I'm being quiet because I'm trying to wrap my head around like... What makes Vamana good into Suk? Other than the fact that you can stop the stun... Right, because that's obvious. The alt being really good, I could see. Because if Suk ever places his three down, you can just alt and walk through it with Vamana. But it doesn't seem like game changing to me. It just seems like you got to be careful with your abilities. The alt, I guess, could get you in some trouble. <laughs> there it is boys there it is game two over with uh, a six minuter but I'm hoping I'm hoping next game will be the Vamana versus Suk matchup that we've all been waiting for that would be really fun I don't know I'll see you next game we'll see what happens hello welcome back to game three there was a game in between, <clears throat> but I cut it out. I tried to have fun on a try hard Thursday and I got it. I got bit in the ass and I lost and it wasn't fun to play or to participate in, to be completely honest. So I'm a little bit upset. Um, so I'm just going to play Kronos and I'm going to shit down the throat of anybody that is on the other side of this game. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm upset and this is how I'm going to win. 
it's just what has to be. Not picking his god, though. Here, I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down. Nah, 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 nah. Hawken, and he's on Scylla. Well, Hawken. Sorry, buddy, but I'm pissed off. Sorry, buddy, but I'm pissed off. Fortunate. My chat was like, those are sand bands. And you'll look at that. I'm pissed. I'm pissed, Hawken. Not at you. Because you're an alpha, Chad. And I love you. But I am pissed. Just in general. <laughs> All right. He used his two on the buff, so I just dropped the buff, and now I'm going to clear the wave. And now he has to use his two on the wave or drop the wave. I can't believe he actually got that. I'm so mad. I'm so upset that he actually got that. Dead here. Ah, oh, dude. I'm actually playing tilted. Like, genuinely. I'm very upset. Last game pissed me off a lot. Your middle tower is under attack. He does not have an ability up, so this should be mine. Ow. I'm just gonna ult that. Ult for ult, and I'll take my buff. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that exchange. I'm okay with the exchange. I do no damage to him. I assume it's expected. All right, there we go. We got first blood. We got pulled blues. We're playing better after we, we lost the red buff there. That's good. That's good. I think actually he started playing a bit greedy. My, my immediate play for the red buff. I really thought that it wouldn't matter. Because he used his two on me. So he had to drop it, the wave for it, but it ended up not mattering for him. I really thought it would have to. I was wrong. I'm not too scared, though. Yet. First item, Divine, is very odd. First item divine is super weird. I will need an Aegis probably this game. Okay.
I actually got it. I actually ended up getting the red. This is such a weird game so far. I feel like so much stuff is missing that I feel like should hit on both sides. back i want to go shoguns talisman would be good too with the hp but i right, know talisman would probably be better actually for this play but that's fine it's fine it's fine do this and then i want to clear these and then i want to meet him at his blue buff because i would like him not to get it Hmm. Push and tower in. Does make sense, but still surprised me. Okay. okay the divine rush was a good play actually It's weird because I kind of feel like I want to go um, beads instead of Aegis. But I don't know. By the way, this game I might actually end up going Talisman and Shoguns. Well, that was a good, uh, good juke read. Good juke read on his part. I don't know what I want my next item to be. Toxic Blade, maybe? Okay. Ouch. Hmm. Alright. So I've noticed he's trying to read my jukes really hard. So if I just don't juke anymore, like, he's not really going to be able to read them. I'm okay with this.
I wonder if I could have just walked through that. I was a little timid just because I didn't know if he had enough mana to combo with the one afterward. But I probably could have just walked through it. He actually has no lifesteal right now. He is going to get lifesteal eventually. So I think Toxic Blade's not going to be bad, but... At the moment, it's actually not too hot. My power is very low. I'm going to blink. Pretty normal Scylla thing to do. Nice, we still got a buff. I'm not too scared of him right now. Just more lifesteal right now. I mean, the, the the fight right now is kind of playing itself to the point where both of us need to fuck up. Like, me getting caught there was one of the biggest fuck-ups. But I still think it's okay. I don't think... Well, I guess he has blink. Yeah. I mean, as long as I predict the blink, we're chilling. Oh, I'm dead. Nice. Well played. That was honestly well played by him too. But it was really well played by me to get distance. Knowing that I might, uh... Yeah, yeah, the ult was really well played by me because... I had to get distance in order to try to win that fight because I knew in order to win the fight I had to ult. There, there's no way. All right, so I am going to grab this and then this. That is a massive power spike for me. Holy shit. A full Telkines and Toxic Blade. That is a massive power spike. Doing Bull Demon is going to be hard, though. It's, you know, still a ult. Dark forces propel me forward. I wonder if he's going to do Bull Demon. Okay. Oh, good read. With my life steal and my two active, I'm able to heal up any poke pretty easily. I think I might just commit to it right now. It's a bit of a bad play, but we'll see. Yeah. I think I'm going to go the power rod. Hey. 
Okay. Well, we got his alt out, so now Bold Demon seems a lot easier, a lot more manageable. for me I don't know what's happening right now it looks like he's trying to push me but he can't really do that having so much trouble right now is because he's trying to be unpredictable but by being unpredictable he's kind of giving me he's giving me the reins you know like i'm allowed to do so much stuff and with this upgraded mannequins i can do bull demon much much faster with the tick damage now i think he might be doing bull demon right now it would be a good play on his part but We'll see. I'm willing to give him red buff. Okay, he's not going to be able to get here, so he's going to take red buff instead. He is going to take the red buff instead. And he went with the Calamitous Rod, which is the... Uh, which rod is that? It's the one that drops the Meteor. GG. I had to go try hard. Hawken is a good friend of mine. I have a lot of fun just trolling. Well, we have a lot of fun trolling each other in chat. <laughs> so I did have to go a bit try hard on him, especially after the game that you guys will not see, but goodness gracious. All right. We'll queue again. He's probably going to play something try hard. But, um, hopefully we can take it down. Take it down. Unless he plays Neath. There's no way. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next game. Hello. The last game of the episode. Probably. I don't actually know how long this episode is going to be. And, uh, would you know it? It's a Bass Step Mirror match. Of course. It's Try Hard Thursday. At some point, you need to have a Bass Step Mirror match. Because without it, it's nothing. The Try Hard Thursday is fake if you don't have a Basta Mirror match. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this start. I don't know if this start is better or worse. Yeah, I don't know if this start is better or worse. Go like Bluestone going into Crusher. Boomba's Hammer is good. Uh, but again, it's more late game oriented. 
And yeah. Do you have your three? Oh, he actually hit the two on me there. Okay, well, he's better than I am. That's unfortunate. This will help me track my prey. Um, I mean, that was a pretty even fight, honestly. Um, I think I win this actually. Nice. All right, that does clear. I don't know if I can get this buff here. It's so weird, these, these fights. Ah. Damn. Okay. I guess he started with more mana than I did. Started with more mana pots or something. I don't know. I feel like he's used more abilities than I have. And yet somehow has more mana than me. But, oh well, is what it is. I'll just jump back here. And we'll do this. He's really far ahead. And in a Bastet Mirror match where you're going the exact same build, that literally couldn't be worse. So this is going to take a bit of finesse. I will say, in terms of uh, recording... It's been a while. Hmm. Could maybe snatch him with an alt. Oh, nice. Very nice. He tried to be greedy, man. Greedy. It always gets him. It always gets him. So I had to alt there. Because when I alt, if he alts back like he did, obviously to immune my CC for my alt, he's still going to die from the damage of my alt and the fact that I have a whole minion wave hitting him. And if he jumps back when I start charging my alt, then I can always just... um then I can always just do exactly what I just did there. I lost a little bit more HP, but, you know, I have a kill and he doesn't, so we take those. And I'm not too scared, because I can just back here. I can just back here. I don't need to be greedy with it. And we are, like I said, the literal exact same character right now. Same level, same build, same everything. The only difference is my alt cooldown is a little bit faster than his right now because uh, I have blue buff when he picked up red. Okay, he did not do any damage to me. I hit my whole combo there. He is gonna have to jump in. Oh, come on. Come on. That was so good. I threw my ult to where he jumped because I knew he was going to jump back. I'm in your head, Bastet. I'm in your head. I know what you would do better than you know you what you would do. My guy, you're getting absolutely slapped by me right now. 
absolutely slapped. This will help me track my prey. Please tell me that clears. It does. Nice. Alright. I got his blue buff. And I jumped back. I do not think I can get mine though. Oh, he's getting the minions. Okay, nice. Nice. We actually got the buff and got out. I really thought he was going to try to fight me there. I'm lucky. Uh, can I... Boop. Damn. It's the back line, but it's fine. He's going breastplate here. I was thinking about going Jotun's here instead of breastplate. But I guess breastplate is a better pick. You know? And while I'm ahead, if I just build the same items he builds... Then he can't really beat me, can he? Because I just have... I'm him, but better, right? Like, if we have the exact same items, I am him, but better. Okay. Unless he shits on me like that. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. You have been slain, dummy. Mm, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? What now, boys? What now? Now he's me, but better. Before I was him. Now he's me. Your middle tower is under attack. Uh, can I? No, I can't. I'm gonna say, can I get the gold from that minion? But there's absolutely no way. Is this up? Nope. Okay. No fun allowed. Boom. Go. That clears. All right, that was definitely a trade in my favor. And red buff is spawning. It's gonna give it to me though. Interesting. why I feel like he should have won that fight I feel like oh was it my passive it might have been my passive there because I feel like I healed a lot more than he did I don't know it feels like he should have won that fight he had thorns during the fight and he used it too and yet oh my nose he had thorns during the fight, and he used it too. And yet somehow he still came out on top. Even while taking 150 damage from thorns. And the fact that I missed my ult, and he hit me with his ult. He just all... It's all weird. I feel like... There's no way I should have won that. But... I did, so I'll take it. He's going soul leader now. I don't really think that's too good because I'm just going to go beat stick toxic blade and then I'll have max cooldown with just my Jotuns and my breastplate. He is doing bull demon. I heard him auto attacking over there. I don't care too much because he probably lost a lot of HP doing that, which means he can't contest this, which means he got bull demon in order to take my tower, but I'm actually going to take his tower.
Mm. All right, so he got Bull Demon to take my tower and then whiffed his ult because he thought I would run. I don't know. It seems like... Don't get me wrong. He's a good Bastet player. He's doing good combos and stuff. But it seems like he only knows how to play Bastet well from ahead. Playing Bastet from behind is completely different. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm going to use my med here. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so dead. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fair play, fair play. I don't have any kind of beat stick or anything yet, so it is fair play. I did get my tower, or he will get my tower. Oh, will he? Actually, pretty low. He won't. I don't know what I want here. I I kind of just want to go full beat stick, and then like the thorns of myself. My guy, you gotta go. I wonder if he even has his blue buff up. Oh, he does. Okay. Alright, so he's level 16. I'm level 18. I still don't have the lifesteal for my Jotuns, which kind of sucks. But... I don't know. He's going double stacking. That's so weird. Too late, man. Like, if you're going to go Transcendence, just do it first. Especially on Bastet. Like, right now, you're you're definitely at a disadvantage. I'm doing way more damage than you are. Nice. Perfect. He threw the ult at me. All I had to do was uh, correctly assume when he was going to ult me. Which was pretty easy, considering it's got like a three second charge up. And thorns it, and we get the kill. Easy play. I probably cannot end here, but I will do a lot of damage. Uh, he can't catch me. I am safe. Okay. Thorns down, we take those. Oh, wait, I really want that red, though. But he's... Ah, uh, he finished Soul Eater. Alright, fair play. Fair play. You finished the Soul Eater. Oh, God. Please. Damn. Damn. That sucks. Do I lose here? Does that Soul Eater actually clap me that hard? No, I don't lose here. God damn, is it close. Dude, both of our Titans are half HP. This is such a good game. Oh, 
Nice! Okay, tell me I win. Tell me I win. Tell me I win off that. This is like one of the... This is probably the closest game I've had of Season 9. Closest in terms of like... We both were so close to losing uh, multiple times. Ouch. Titan. Oh, wow. All right. That was so close. I really had to focus there at the end. I didn't think that his kill on me... Well, okay. I guess I didn't think that he was going to evolve his soul leader in the middle of that fight. And then heal up on that one wave and then just chase me down with alt. And I did miss my alt too. So there was a couple situations where I could have... I could have got back there, but... I was close. It was a really close game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.